While Florida is known for its alligators, it's important to remember that venomous snakes also call the sunshine state home. Your rattlesnakes, moccasins, copperheads, you know, those are the, the poisonous snakes endemic to our area. Dr. Alexander Ortega works in Lee Health's pediatric intensive care unit. He says if you do get bit, first things first, get away from the snake. You'd want to remain as calm as possible, uh, and you'd also want to try to elevate the limb that was attacked above the level of the heart to reduce swelling to that area. If you can, try and get a picture of the snake so doctors can determine if it's venomous. Then it's time to call 911 so you can be seen by a medical professional. Examine the, the type of puncture marks that were left, you know, the evidence, to say, uh, of the scene. And then there'll be an interval of time between the accident and the incident happened and then the time you're here. So we'll be able to see how fast something has progressed as an indicator that this may or may not be a venomous attack. The immediate effects the venom has on the body is swelling. The venom of a snake bite is a deeper and more penetrating, uh, destructive sort of a toxin. And so you start to not only get at the skin level, but even deeper into the muscular layer. Some may also experience effects like nausea, increased heart rate, and muscle weakness. Doctors can treat venomous snake mites with supportive care and anti-venom. If the snake is not venomous, you should still seek medical attention, but first aid to the injured area should do the trick. The best thing you can do is be mindful when you're out in the woods or in tall grass to avoid getting bit in the first place. For Lee Health, I'm Devin Turk.